pick up a front bumper I need a rear bumper as well but I don't know right now I think I'm just gonna go for the front because the front's the one that's real bad the rear is just a little spot and I can always get it later on uh, I hit up a guy on uh, Facebook marketplace about getting some front spindles on an Integra but he said someone might buy the whole car so we'll see what happens with that uh, but yeah I'll let you know when I get this bumper and then I will uh, also let you know if I end up getting those spindles. All right guys, so I left the junkyard slash auto body panel place. So I got the bumper in my Hyundai and I got two spindles. The spindles look a little crusty. So uh, when I get home, I'm gonna inspect them a little bit further. I'll show you guys what I got. And then we'll figure out what's next for the uh, Civic. So guys, so here's my terrible purchase of the worst looking spindles from an Integra I could have possibly got. I don't know why I bought them, but yeah, everything's pretty shot on them. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press up the hub and the bearing, get the ball joints off and start stripping all the rust and crap off so I could uh, prep it for paint. That way when it does go back in, it doesn't look so shitty. All right, so I have the hub in a press. I'm pushing out. Pushing it out, as you can see, let's see. I think I'm gonna have to take it out and reset it. Yeah, okay. All right, so we busted out the hub and now we need to get the snap ring out. It's pretty rusted. I don't know where the hell this came from definitely not an El Paso car. So we're gonna try to do that. We're taking drastic measures because the snap ring is stuck in there and God knows how the bearing is. But as you can see, the spindles in the worst condition ever. And I question myself why I even bought this hunk of shit. What do you think, Mike? I question it every day. <laughs> All right. So we did this off camera, but the bearing all we did was get a huge socket and put it over and beat the shit out of it and it came out same thing with the other one kind of was easy uh, the ball joint hammered it out so right now it's time to uncrust this crustiness uh, it's gonna be off camera because I have no way to record it but uh, that's what we're gonna do all right so since we got the bearings pushed out and everything uh, you know, I wanted to get the rust off and I was gonna use a wire wheel, but my boss recommended me to use some muriatic acid. So I'm gonna pour it into this little thing and brush it on, let it sit and see how it works. So I'll show you guys how that goes. Well, so far, <laughs> it looks like I'm just eating up the concrete. I'm pretty sure this is used to like edge the concrete. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just gonna let it sit for a while. I'm gonna take my lunch break come back to it and my guess is gonna look exactly the same so I could rub it in his face that this shit didn't work. All right, so this is after the acid and it definitely looks like it ate up the rust, but uh, for sure I'm gonna have to hit it with the wire wheel. Same thing with the other one. Now you could tell that it ate it up, but I think maybe it's just too much even for the acid. I mean, that acid seems kind of diluted so, you know, it's not the greatest thing. So I'm just gonna hit this with the wire wheel and see how much we get done. All right, so I'm at the point where I've wire wheeled it, I've acid it, wire wheeled it, acid, cleaned it, and this is as good as I'm gonna get. Honestly, like, I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be insane just to prep them crazy. So this is the way it's gonna look. And I'm just gonna paint it with the same prep. I painted the, uh, the hell I painted with this, um, throttle body so it's duple color crap all right so don't knock me but I mean I don't know. that's all I got I don't know how much I'm getting. I 
my camera because I'm painting and watching with one hand, recording with the other. Terrible. I mean, these all have like a rough finish. If you ever seen the one in your car, even my stock one that's in pretty good shape looks like it has a rough finish. So, pretty much you can do, I guess. But, prep. So, I tried my best without going crazy. So, yeah, I'm just gonna finish this off camera and then we'll let it dry and we'll flip it and all that good stuff. I'll show you guys the finished product. So, here I got like three or four coats of paint on both sides. I think it looks pretty good. Didn't come out half bad. So just waiting on the hub and bearing. Uh, I ordered a snap ring from Rock Auto and I ordered a dust cover that goes on the back. This is the front, but dust cover on the other side from Honda. So I'm waiting on all that to come, but that'll probably be next week. And that's Christmas week, so it's kind of shot as far as getting this done. All right, so I already got the other one pressed in. I did it the same way. You see it's already in. I just need to put the snap ring. So I already have it halfway started. I wanted to make sure that it was going in straight and wanted to focus on that. So I have the old bearing here, and I just put the center in the middle of the, I don't know, the race. And I'm just going to push down on this. I'm actually gonna do this off camera. <laughs> that way I can hold the control. So now we have both uh, wheel bearings in. I'm gonna go get the snap ring pliers, put those snap rings in. After that, we can push in the uh, hub and I'm actually gonna wait on the ball joints because I had to order those. Well, I did it off camera just so I could focus on what I was doing, but the uh, hubs and bearings they came out pretty minty fresh. So I have some paint flaking off this crap on the spindle, but uh, if anything, I'll touch it up at a later time because it's really not bad. And where it did flake, you can't even see because it's underneath here. So I'm not too concerned about it, but both uh, bearings and hubs went in relatively easy. I had to play with it a few times because it was going in off center. So I just fixed that. So. Still waiting on uh, lower ball joints. So what I'll do is, I think I, at this point, it's safe to say I could take the whole front end apart. Control arms, spindles, uh, the brakes will be uh, attended to, you know, I think in a different video, just because it's kind of a pricey item. So I at least want to get these, the stock ones out, the stock control arms out and just pretty much prep everything so that when these are done with the ball joints, it goes right in. What's up guys? So I know it might look like that video is a little bit like crazy, but it's mostly because I was waiting on parts and I got some parts and you know, and then I installed them and I didn't really take any break to kind of explain what was going on. So basically I picked up a front bumper, then I sent it out to the body shop. So the next video you'll see it's actually done. Uh, I got some Integra spindles at a junkyard that was actually connected to the same place that it was selling the front bumper. Then, of course, you see me uh, prep the spindles. I put new bearings, new hubs, painted them, got them all ready. So I was still waiting on ball joints, but since then I've gotten all the parts I need. So we're pretty close to disassembling the entire front end, but that'll be the next video. And then I'll show you guys the front bumper in the next video. So thanks for checking out this whole little craziness going on, but the car is coming along. And if you know what I got those spindles for, you'll see in another video, you already know what I'm about to do, but that's much later on because I don't even have those parts yet. So thanks for checking it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram, egchris92. Later.